Hello everyone, give me a minute to get set up, you know I'm never ready for the start of a stream, but also today, so I, I admit, I, I, I thought I wasn't going to be able to stream at all today, uh, but thankfully I was able to finish my work well enough that I have some free time, so, uh, so now that I am live, I, I wanted to do something a little different while it's still going on. Uh, so Steam is having their uh, usual, you know, Steam Fest where like you get to try a bunch of demos and stuff. I don't think I'm going to be using a controller for this, but I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, but there is a game that's coming out that I'm really looking forward to. And they have a demo for Steam Fest. And yeah. I I hope you are looking forward to this. I'm super excited. This is it's rare that I ever stream like a demo of a game. So I if that gives you any indication. Hey, Corn, it's good to see you. Hi, hi. Hello, hello. So, um, for those of you who are unaware, so the game I'm playing is called Battlecore Robots, which, um, if you've ever heard of a series called Custom Robo, uh, it's a Nintendo franchise that has gone, gone unacknowledged for a very long time, and I was a big fan of Custom Robo Arena on the DS. I never got to play the GameCube original, but, uh... I, I did really love Custom Robo Arena on the DS, which people said was worse than the original, but I still loved it. And this game is kind of like a spir spiritual successor to it, you know? Um, it is... It is on Steam right now. I don't know if they had plans to bring it to anything else, but it, since the Steam Fest demo is going on... Um, or Steam Fest, you know, event is going on... Um, I wanted to check it out and see how it compares to my, my, my very old memory of Custom Robo, uh, cause it's been a long time, it's been a hot minute since I've played Custom Robo, so I'm probably gonna be really bad, and usually I played it on the DS, so I'm gonna be trying keyboard and mouse, I may whip out a controller if, if that works better, but, uh, yeah, that's basically... Everything. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else that I need to set up right away. I don't think so. So in that case, we're gonna... We're gonna go to the live scene. Hello, hello everyone! Um, I, I do also want to, um... Uh, oh, you know what? I just realized this is a... You know what? Hold on. I just realized this is a bad shirt for me to be wearing on stream. Give me a mo. Give me one quick mo. Just one one quick mo, cause I, you know, it's not that close to me, but it's it's something I probably shouldn't wear. Um. But yeah, no, I'm really, I'm really excited about this. I, I loved Custom Robo Arena. I was always really sad to hear that it was so niche, because uh, it seems like the kind of thing that no loot, no, it's not loot. It's just it had, it had info on it that I didn't want broadcast. Is all. Anyway, hi, again, it is me. Um, but yes, we are going to, we're going to boot up the demo. I'm really looking forward to this game. I really hope you guys enjoy what you see and check it out yourself, too, if this kind of thing looks fun. Disclaimer, thank you. Uh, please no, some bugs. It's strongly recommended that you play with controller. I, I had a feeling... I, I had a feeling 
that it would. Uh, for one thing, I love the visual style. It's very, like, the world ends with you kind of, you know, style. I really like it. It's good. Um, you just turn it down just a, a smidge. No, not that, not that low. Okay, I guess... Okay, <laughs> sorry, this didn't quite go... Didn't quite go how I thought it would. Okay, let me connect a controller. Because I gotta do everything. Smidge equals mute. I know, I was just like, I just want it down a little bit. Okay, let us play... Play the game, please. But yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to this game. I've uh, I've been following it for a little while. Um, if ooh, there's a person mode too, no. Uh, if this is anything like I uh, expect it, I I think I'm gonna have a fun time. And I like that there's like a whole story mode along with it, because again. Custom Robo Arena was more RPG-like than I than the first one, to my understanding. Um, and I remember it had segments like this, so this is really cool. Different from Tom. Hey, over here. How are you? I've been looking forward to seeing you. How was your trip? See, I've been changed. I hope your sister's doing well. Welcome to Zerus. How the years go by. Remember when we accidentally broke Grandpa's pork? What a scolding Grandma gave us. Alright, it must have been a long trip, and I know a place where you can get some rest. Got some catching up to do. Oh, is this where we're gonna fight? Oh, looks like you guys are struggling back home. Struggling? Well... You haven't seen a battle core in person yet. I <laughs> found the goth girl waifu. I mean, you know... It's understandable. Sometimes I miss village life. I think I'd die of boredom without a good tournament. Interesting. So, if I remember correctly, Custom Robo Arena... I'm gonna bring up Custom Robo a lot. I'm sorry. I mean, that's kind of the intention anyway, but, like, still. Um, in Custom Robo Arena, it was kind of like, uh, like Pokemon, you know, where, like, robots were just, like, a part of the world and, like, everyone settled disputes through it and stuff. So it's interesting that they're doing, like, a tournament kind of format for this. Getting the picture. I know someone is competing in the Battlecore tournament this afternoon. You have to sign up a few days early, but they owe me a fi- Sans! <laughs> hi, hi! You you are not quite first. Uh, you, you are technically second. <laughs> but still, hi! Wrong! Yeah, what, uh, was it Magneto? Or, or Lex Luthor or someone? Wrong! Technically, it won't be mine. We created an identical from its blueprints. Each Battlecore pilot can share its blueprints with someone they trust by accessing the original. Take good care of Dart and take good care of me. Okay. Cool. Weird as a, a first design, but still cool. So he's really good at aerial. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. Acid strike. It's very fast and reloads, but it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. This... I, I'm really liking this. Basic chip, it does nothing. Blaster. There's bursts of three. I forget what they call it in Custom Robo, but that's kind of like the default in Custom Robo. Ground swings first, launch the opponent into the air, and finish the uh, aerial vertical launching blow. Interesting. <laughs> Dark got them Air Jordans. <laughs> well, he's got a Beyblade! Oh! <laughs> Ping pong. 
pod that goes in a straight line, backs in that. So three times, explodes on impact. Okay. We'll meet her soon enough. Go somewhere where you can do some testing. Yeah, sounds good. I want to get into it. And bonk, yes. Groovy would love the bonk. Right, right now, you're controlling Dart. Ooh, I do like the movement. This is really smooth so far. It, it, it's one of those things where, like, mobility is, like, the very first thing you gotta nail. And it feels like they did it. The dodge, you will have to move around a lot. Running will not be enough. Jumping. Okay. Yeah. Argo's pretty high. <gasps> Groovy! Hi, Groovy! I'm so glad you're here. Slightly more advanced. Any by aerial dodge. The number of consecutive dodges you can perform depends on. Yeah, dart. Up to three dodges. Okay. Use it well, you will be untouchable. This is really good so far. I'm my compliments to the the devs, for sure. The gun. Every gun is different. You may need to hit the opponent hard enough. You'll deplete its shields and knock him into the ground. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, it is nice that they have the slide, so that way it's not just move and fire. Am drowsy. Oh, I'm sorry, Groovy. Dart is going to be darting around. Um. Anyone notice that the gun needs some time to cool down? Fire again. Weapon has different cooldown time. Okay. Melee, deal a lot of. Eh. Okay, X is melee. Oh, an uppercut? Hell yeah. By pressing X, if you hit the target, press X again to complete. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's mood. Yeah, it's it's a mood. I, I should warn, I might not be live for particularly long. I've been really just, like, working super hard and taking care of everything, so, like, I'm really exhausted. But I, I finished my homework earlier than expected, so I want to at least get a stream in, because I've been canceling so many lately. The bombs. Or a bomb that explodes. It's the right trigger. Interesting. I don't. I don't remember. I mean, in Custom Robo, I do remember having like bombs and stuff, but I don't remember if that's how they worked. It has been a long time, though. There's the weapons, the pods. In function is to distract, deploy, delayed attacks in the arena. Left trigger. Oh, so the Beyblade. Okay. Yeah, this is all... There'll be battles where you'll not be alone and you'll have to change targets. Yes, that's an important thing to uh, press Y. Let me punch! You can fall too. If you get knocked down, you can get a five. Oh, as many buttons as you can. Okay. When you're pulling us down. Okay. So, yeah, they made mashing the, the method. Alcor has a different resistance. Heavier will resist more hits. Okay. Absorb damage. This left punch. Oh, that's cool. I again, I, it's been so long since I've played Custom Robo that I don't quite remember exactly how faithful this is. Feels broken. It'll be harder for you to get up. And respond. Okay. That's a neat trade-off. You have good reflexes, you can try to parry. Activate the shields right at the moment. Okay, so... Dang it. 
This is gonna take me a minute. Okay, there's a little bit of a delay. Okay. Oh, and it'll recover part of your shield and charge your overdrive. That's cool. Harry me melee, bullets, and bombs. And the overdrive. Okay. Overdrive is RB. Uh, it has a different overdrive. Dart creates a jelly cube, slowing down anything that enters. Okay. No, oh, this is all. Uh, you know, I, I applaud how like smoothly it just flows. It is gonna take some getting used to, though. Let's do an actual match with it, then. I, I'm really looking forward to this game, so... Sharing battle. Not a normal thing, people usually have personalized battle core, but if people want to share their blueprints, now you're ready for the turn. When you have to pay for dinner today. Ooh. Okay. Proof of life check. Hey! Oh, congrats on the new job! And uh, good to see you, Prog. Wrencher. Really? I thought you had to. I thought you had. I, I thought you had visit today. Is that correct? Wouldn't it be like, I thought you visited? Good to see. You. They brought them to the stadium. It's a little quiet, but he'll, <laughs> yeah, he's the main character. Literally unplayable. <laughs> no, this is. I'm. I'm already like impressed at how smooth it is for being an alpha, or or beta or whatever demo this is. Each other practically since I got here. If you need help with pieces, she's your girl. Up to our eyeballs. Tricks is swamped. And the new guys are constantly getting lost. Organizing people is not my thing. You take care of Mr. I don't want to talk. What Sans said? No. This is fun. Although, as a demo, I admit it's it's a little bit strange. But I mean, you know, I appreciate that they are showing like this is what the adventure is gonna be about. Cause I mean, Custom Robo Arena kinda did the same thing. Like, there was a lot of exposition at the start. This girl, she talks a lot about her house in the village, you know? How far is she still here? She forgets all of it. I seem to shun. Okay, so, finish with at least 500 health, deal 50, or 30... 350 with a blaster, and get three hits with the dragon flame gun. I don't have a dragon flame gun. <laughs> it looks like Leslie from Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, I haven't played the Final Fantasy VII Remake, so I don't know how accurate that is. See, this is this is why it was always mystifying to me that uh, Custom Robo was such a, a niche series. Because to me, it was super. It was it was a really unique concept. 
was like, oh, this is, it's like, you're fighting robots in like a little controlled environment. I was like, it's so cool. Dang it. Don't you run away from me. <laughs> you fool. You blew yourself up. You should, because you have it, I think. I sort of have it. it. It was on PS Plus, but then my PS Plus subscription ran out, and I'm not re renewing that, because I'm not paying that much for it. Landmines! Linkle Star. Basic bomb explodes on impact. Okay. Love Gun. There's five projectiles that chase their target. I love being chased. <laughs> this match will pit one of the best battle core mechanics in Zeras against the late entrance. The fight let the games begin. Oh, do I have bonk equipped? I do bonk. Okay. Um Yeah, I don't have any other robots. Structor, hey! I things have been really busy. Oh, I wanna try the love gun. Things have been really busy, but I'm I'm holding up. Hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully things will ease up. <laughs> Get ready. Structor, love, love. Yeah, yeah. we love Structor. I do like the love gun. Ah. Uh. boy. This is going a lot worse than I thought it would. <laughs> no, 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 no. Get me up. I used to be... Well, so, in Custom Robo Arena, there, there was a, uh, a build you could have. Oh, God. There was a build you could use where, uh, you could fly around the arena, and I, I loved that, so I used to be very aerial-focused. And I'm, I'm really happy with how smooth this is, too. Okay, that was tough, but time to kill your pounds with the power of love. Exactly. I loved my my enemies to death. Damage blocked. <laughs> yeah. Understandable that I got a C. Sharky! Aggressive with little defense, performs well on the ground, but a single dash is ineffective in the air. Okay. I'll try out Sharky. I loved my enemies to death, yeah. Um, this week has been crazy. I got laid off from my job. I was kind of lucky because I hated that job. Well, I'm still sorry to hear that you got laid off, and uh, hopefully you get something even better quickly. The Rookie. I wonder if you get to name your character in the final build. Hugs. Exactly. Plus 
play against this guy. Next match between the Rookie and the Pharaoh's Herald. Interesting name. <laughs> Put a title on himself. I knew this would happen. Sorry, dude, but here we call people by their name. Kareem! Enough people were buying new phones. Oh, I see. That, that makes sense, though. I've heard, it, I know it can be a pretty awful job. Uh, let me adjust a few things. I'm, I'm gonna try out Sharky. I love that he's named Sharky. Try it. Get ready. Fight. I don't know how to describe this, but uh, I do hope that for the the final build, the maps feel a little more. Oh god. Or you know the. I don't even know how to describe it. Like. It's not the graphics so much that I mind, I guess it's just, they don't feel like they're... I don't know. I don't even, you know... Like, they, they need to be more varied, I guess is kind of what I'm thinking. No, you coward! Oof. Ooh, that, that, that was a lot of damage. I need to make better use of my uh, bombs and things. The the first bombs they give you are a little weird. <laughs> you thought you could leave, but you can't. Got him. My dad told me once they quit right before the company did a round of layoffs, which was unlucky, then they didn't have to pay him a severance. Yeah, that is very unlucky. And hi, Fidget, it's good to see you! Hi, hi! Damn. This one, ooh, Dragon Flame. High attack and defense, but really, ooh. Fire shotgun. Welcome the next participant. What? I have just been informed that the next combatant is unavailable. It is certainly a very strange tournament. One of the participants of the line has disappeared at the last minute. But we managed to find a replacement so that the tournament doesn't have to be cancelled. Why would we cancel a tournament for one person? And she's nothing new in the stadium. Zara's promising Eileen delight us with. And again, I'm going to be bringing up Custom Robo a lot because I do really like Custom Robo. Um, but at least in Custom Robo Arena, uh, I it was interesting because, like, the, the world revolved around the things, but you, your character was, you know, kind of new to the whole thing. So it, it feels like that's kind of what they're going for, which is not bad. I'm, I'm not, you know... I'm trying to sound like it's it's 
stupid idea. No, it's just... It's, it's funny to see the parallels. And I, I appreciate that it seems like they've... They've taken all the mechanics of, uh... Custom Robo that I think really work well. Geez, Shadow, do you ever shut up about Custom Robo? No, I'm, I'm just saying. It, it legitimately is one of my favorite DS games. At least Custom Robo Arena. I know there's one on the GameCube, which is like the original. Is that a beefy kitten? Is that my beef? Hi, you. Hi, my sweet beefy kitten. Are you sweet? Are you beef? Yes, you are. The beef. We love beef. Isn't that right? Don't you want to come up on the bed so you, your loving fans can see you? <laughs> no, he wants to. What's this? I saw a tail pop up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's he's flopped behind me right now. Good fight. Let's taste my dinner. Tesla Sheen. That's a weird, <laughs> weird name. What an exciting tournament! Passion, Family Feuds, Wounded Pride! Death! I mean, what? We have before us a new spark! Potential to set our hearts on fire in the future bouts, but that means that our hearts need to be really dry and... and... crumbly. New blood in the Coliseum, tell me, rookie. Are you ready for the final match? No. Wow! He's so looking forward to it! Flumped. Hey you. Hey you. Hey you sweet. Are you silly? Don't you want to be up on the bed? Where's Comfy? Not on the floor? Oh, the kisses though. I love the kisses. Oh, and the bite. I want to bite. What do I do? Over my cat flops on the floor, especially on the tile floor. Yeah. Mm. Refining our H of one. Okay, that looks like okay. Space orcs. <laughs> But let's not keep her waiting! There's still one last fight left! Let's give her a warm welcome! Leader of the stadium, host of the tournament! The Steel Tigress! Beatrice! Oh my god, she... she looks like Cynthia to me. <laughs> Greetings to you too, Rookie. I didn't expect you to make it this far. Barely heard from Eileen a few hours ago, and here I am, defending the tournament award from the new pilot. Goodness, they were able to help me with the organization. Your favor was owed to it, not to you. Hope you deserve your place. Let the last match of the tournament begin! Get ready! Fight! Yeah, the. I mean. So, Custom Robo Arena had its fair share of maps that were just random geometry, but, uh, oh god, I'm getting my ass handed to me. <laughs> but, uh, you know, there were maps with interesting visual elements, so I do hope that in whatever finished version, they, they have at least some variance. Oh, ooh. Oh, I, I let that go too early. Also, I don't know what our HFY is, but, uh... 
what you say, Fidget, is very funny to me. No, 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 no. No, oh man. Humans, fuck yeah. Oh, is that really? <laughs> Interesting. Excuse me. The beef. Is this my beefy kitten? What you do? What you do, you silly? Yeah, let me let me try that one again. I feel like my build, or what I have unlocked, is decent. I just need to be more efficient. Oh man, I want that gun though. I don't remember what Custom Robo called it, but I remember a similar gun and I really like it. No! No! Ooh, that, that was a bad combo to take. Ooh. If I fail this, I'm gonna I'm gonna customize and maybe go back to Frog. Or Dart or whatever his name was. Um oh god. <laughs> Sorry. Hold on, I can't read. I can't read and babble at the same time. Oh, come on. His, his melee range is very strange. Oh, oh, that combo, though. I just need to... I'm not finishing that sentence. <laughs> By the way, I have one memory left in Breath of the Wild. I can't find it for my life. Uh, do you know what number it is? Because I might remember. You are silly. Why, why are you so silly? Why are you, why you roll around like this? Okay, okay, okay. Hey, my beefies, you are so... Why you, why you do this? Why you do this, beefies? Beefies? Beefies. Ow. Beef? <laughs> that hurt. Oof. Why you do that? <laughs> dart. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try dart again. Hmm, do I want bonk or rhino axe? Got to find the rest of the stables. It's good to get the last one. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it sounds like you're making good progress otherwise. Ready. Oh, you press start to ready. Oh. That was a little weird. Get ready. I thought you had to, like, exit and then, yeah. Ooh, this is a very short range gun. Down. No, no, I got. <laughs> you know, the dragon flame, pretty cool. <laughs> Sucker. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, melee! Well, I couldn't find Lanayru Mountain on my map. I figured there would be a memory there. I just missed it on the map. Oh, Lanayru... You haven't been to Lanayru Mountain yet? Oh, you're a real hand. Congratulations, you've earned my respect. I'm going to shed tears of emotion! Three, two, one, tears deployed! Today a new pilot is born among us. The world spread around town. I really like to exaggerate. Enjoy the award. <clears throat> Why are you so silly? Why are you being silly? G-Shield. There's three shields that can block projectiles and chase the target. That sounds really interesting. I like that. Got that memory, picking it told me where it was. Oh, oh, okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> I look forward to hearing from you. You have a future in this world, you know. Which stadium are you planning to go to now? I think Taiga would be in good hands with you. Be very helpful in your turn. Give, give me that. No! Finally got it. Thanks for everything, you bunch of clowns. You're not just a clown, you're the whole circus. Okay. So a Lionel was there too. I don't remember a Lionel being on... Well, I guess so. It's more the flying chase sequence that I remember. If back what you stole, you're gonna have to pick your te teeth. I can speak. What a pain in the ass. I don't want to resort to this but the other choice. Again, this is also really... Um... Custom Robo Arena-esque. Because in Custom Robo, you start out as, like, basically a kid, and you're you're learning about the the bots in, like, school, and then there's, like, a whole underworld to it all that you you eventually end up fighting. So this, this feels like it's it's very much taking that kind of inspiration. Lionel Rue Mountain. <laughs> I like that. Ooh. Get ready. Which one? Oh, okay. <laughs> Which one am I? <laughs> Have my my friend do all the hard work. You know, maybe this is just because it's been a while since I've played Custom Robo. Everything feels a little more... Like, there's a lot of startup. Which I, I do remember being a part of it, so it's not like... It's not like that's a surprise, but... Oh, you can stomp? Oh, that's cool. God, I really- I need to boot up Custom Robo Arena again. My memory has gone... gone soft. Cool. How did you- uh, or how did you? Uh, how is this possible? So another cool thing that happened. Ooh, I got Taiga from Toradora. <laughs> I'm sad I missed the beef tail all. Oh, well, you you also missed beef digging his claws into me and biting me. So this is so sweet and silly. He's right here, though. He's, like, just next to my seat. 
significantly increases melee damage and knockback, lowers melee weapon. That's incredible. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I didn't mean to skip that. Slightly increases move speed. Okay. Run! We've gotta get him! Far from normal. Violet has been pawing my bun and eating <laughs> all. Oh. Emerald! Heck. Thank you. 27 months. Tier 2, thank you. Emerald, I appreciate you so much. The beef exists in this stream. He does. He is just asleep, even if he is tired and silly. Due to Taiga before. Start talking. All right, all right. Give me a break, jeez. Experimental shit massively improves the attack and defense of any battle. Shouldn't have used it, but you're not. But your two nose wasn't essential to the plan. But yeah, hi Emerald, it's good to see you! I'm checking out this game that's a part of the Steam Fest right now, where it's like, it, this is just a demo because they're still making it, but uh, uh, it's very reminiscent of Custom Robo Arena, which is one of my favorites. Thank you for playing the demo. Don't forget to support our project. I invite you to visit our Kickstarter page. Wait, are they still kickstarting it? I didn't know. Wait, hold on. Is that still going? Now I need to know. Okay, yeah, it looks like they were already kickstarted, I think. But either way, I definitely would recommend this. This is a lot of fun. And it, I mean, like. It increases the amount of custom robo there is in the world, and that's always a positive. It's edgy, McEdgy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the characters are a little edgy. Uh, let's let's do medium. Ready. Customize. I want to try out type. Ready. Cats are good. Sweet and purry. No, but also hungry. <laughs> uh, let's do three minutes. Just in case, because I can be a little slow sometimes. One thing I would love to see, and I don't know if they're planning on including this, but one thing I would definitely love to see is, um... I, so, in Custom Robo Arena, there was a, a mode where, like, you could pose your your robo in, like, a diorama in a number of, like, poses and, and uh, situations and stuff. I would love for that to come back, although I imagine it would be a lot of work, so I'd understand if they didn't include it. But this plays basically how exactly how I would want it to, so I I very much applaud the devs. I uh, I think I'm gonna reach out to them and and congratulate them. Yeah, nothing new on the feline front. One thing I would say, though, I, I do hope, and, and I assume that they're going to make this the case, but uh, I would hope that in this game, like, future parts will make you more, like, what's the word? They'd let you, like, react faster, you know? Because one of the big, I mean at least for me, one of the big things about Custom Robo Arena was, like, you start out with the kind of weirdly janky kind of, you know, 
kind of weird guns and units and stuff. But by the end, you have machines that can act quickly and fly around so much. And I'm really hoping that they keep that, you know, mentality. Because it's, it's a lot of fun. Because it, it gives a, a sense of progression, you know? Ready. You go to the shelter and specifically adopt a cat that is full of surprises. <laughs> I mean, that's every cat, right? Yes, yeah, exactly, son. You and I were on the same page. Get ready. Fight. Also, uh, I mean, again, this is not me trying to be a dick. Like, I'm not, I'm not sitting here like, oh, you guys are messing it up. But one thing I would appreciate is an easier way to tell what unit is yours. Some, for some reason, my brain just has such a difficult time remembering that I'm on the far end of the screen when we start battles. No ground was a blast heating gremlin. He he's a gremlin for sure. Granted, uh, you know, I know they're an indie team, so, like, I'm not expecting... I'm not expecting them to match Nintendo in terms of, like, you know, budget and resources and ideas and shit, but, like, you know, there are certain things I feel would be very cool to see. Oh, that was dumb. I ran into my own. What? Why am I not firing my gun? But yeah, I, I don't know if they're... If they have a solid release date or if, like, they have a particular monetization plan. I, I, I'm definitely going to be buying this, though. And I'm not sponsored by them, to be clear. I just... I just like the game. Because <laughs> I've wanted more custom Robo for quite a long time, and I think this is basically the closest we're going to get. Although I did get uh, the GameCube one. So I, I really should play that as well, since I never have. Did the devs who made Custom Robo go out of business? No. I mean, I admit, I don't fully know, but Custom Robo is a Nintendo property, so, like, I assumed one of their internal divisions made it. You know? Like, I didn't think there was... any particular, like, oh, this is made by, you know, Alpha Dream or whatever. Like, I thought it was just internal Nintendo. But yeah, like, you know, there are people who taught, you know, I find it really offensive. There are some people who are like, Nintendo's forgotten about Mario! And it's like, are, you have to be foolish to think that. But, um, of all the franchises that people claim Nintendo has neglected, Custom Robo is actually the correct answer. And maybe F-Zero. Have a bye. <laughs> Have a bye. That's, that's what I'm going to say when I hit him with a bomb. Goji! Oh my god, thank you for the gift sub! And I'm so glad Fairy Gator got the sub. Ah, thank you! Thank you, thank you! I'm so happy to see you. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I think this build that I'm using right now is probably my favorite. I hear um, about the guy who was explaining. Yeah, yeah, I did hear about that. But that's the thing. That's why I think Custom Robo is more forgotten than F Zero, because at least F Zero has people who will do that. Like Custom Robo, I think, has just mostly, you know, gone unacknowledged. Oh, you're amazing! Oh heck, Goji, know you and I love you too. Thank you. And I am super excited for Spider-Man. I, I, I am gonna do what I can to save up for it. Because Spider-Man PS4, like the original one, was uh, a game that I didn't think I would buy day one, but I ended up buying day one and really loved. Yeah, I want to exit. Let's look at the credits for a moment. I want to see how many people are actually working on this, because this this feels like something that probably would have a big team, but I don't know. Game by Yellow Fall Games. I don't know if I've heard their names before. 2D and 3D artist, game designer and programmer, AI programmer, designer. 3D modeler, localization, composers, 3D model? What's the difference between 3D model and 3D modeler? Tester, special thanks. I really, I, you know, I wish I knew about this Kickstarter when it was going on, because I would have donated. I wonder if that guy was really happy with F-090. I, I assume to some extent, although I feel like F-Zero fans are probably just really upset that, like, there's no full new entry, because, like, 99 is still kind of just, like, a compilation of old F-Zero stuff, you know? Is the 3D model... <laughs> oh, 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 I see. That, that makes sense. Uh, but yeah. If you guys haven't checked this out, you really should. The Steam Fest, like, just search, uh, search Battlecore robots and it'll come up. Because I looked on the Steam Fest, like, demos page and it didn't end up popping up and I was really disappointed because this game could really use more exposure. And I'm not sponsored by them or anything, although I could be. Um, <laughs> but, uh, um, but yeah, no, this is, this is fun. And I really hope it lives up to the, the the promise, you know. That guy is a 3D model. Oh, wait, the hard part is when you're new. <laughs> Polish no balls. You bringing up custom robo unearthed a massive trove of long suppressed. Oh, really? I forgot I had. I think I played or watched it at a friend's house as a kid. Vague memories, but I remember it's it so cool. cool. It is the very. Way, I'm three hundred and thirty-five thousand four hundred and thirty-seven dollars in debt, but my bits for your what? channel needed refilling, and I always find a way to support your Did channel I... and spam your chat. Uh, okay, uh, that's a lot. For one thing, thank you for the five bits. For two, if you are that in debt, like you don't have to bits me at all. Let's do a blind build. Let's see how that works. Um. And three, I I vaguely remember talking to you about Custom Robo. That consolidator may, may help. I don't know. Get ready. I'm not an expert, but uh... Fight. I was a big fan of Custom Robo Arena on the DS. I never got to play the original, which was on GameCube. But if you've ever played Smash Brothers, uh... I forget if it was Melee or Brawl, but there is a trophy for Ray Mark III, which is what the is, is the main character. And that's like basically the most acknowledgement he's gotten <laughs> in many years. Because 
Uh, see Robo. <laughs> oh, Krobo. <laughs> we have talked about Krobo quite a lot. I actually very recently bought the GameCube original. It was a moment of weakness, because I really shouldn't have been buying it, but I was like, I, I, I want to know. Because there were people, I remember so many people were like, oh, the GameCube version so much better than Arena, but Arena is what I grew up with, so... Have a bite. <laughs> have a bite. Damn it, I want you to have a bite. Why am I stuck? I don't know if that's a bug or if I was messing something up. Have a bite. Oh, I, I had the bite. Have a bite. <laughs> But yeah, this has all of the elements to make it really exciting. Fires of Rubicon? <laughs> I do want to get that, but uh, no, this is not... Also, I don't think you were watching Fires of Rubicon as a kid. I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna call you out. <laughs> Still beef. Still beef. Oh, water. Hydration. Admittedly, the demo's a little shorter than I thought it would be. But honestly, it, it did a, a great job at illustrating exactly what's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be in the game. Did you play Customer War? Uh, Ready. that's a good question, actually. I know it had online. Maybe I played a little bit online, but I was... I was more focused on the single-player stuff. Can never get- yeah, yeah. I mean, it's- it's, uh... It was at a time when, like, Wi-Fi wasn't common. Oh, which, by the way, I learned from, uh, the Samba de Amigo game on Wii, apparently there was a paid online service on the Wii. I had no idea. I assumed the Nintendo Wi-Fi crack thing was just totally free. But it wasn't. The Wi-Fi connection did have, like, a service you could pay for. It was only for, like, a, a small selection of games, but it's still interesting. Most notable among them are probably Sama de Amigo. <laughs> Have a bite. Ah, no. Real people are acting strange. I know. When are we going to finish that, Will? We need to know what happened to Mr. Tokai. And why people were acting strange. Fair enough, Satoru was really opposed to charging for online. Yeah, I, I mean, Nintendo was opposed to a lot of things that the, Nint that the games industry in general kind of ended up 
doing. <laughs> Uh, once October's over, then we'll con- Okay, good. I am holding you to that. Get ready! Fight! Fall, die to the gas. You know, on Twitter, I did see several people doing some really cool combos in this game, so I, I do really think this game has a lot of potential. I'm just hoping it, uh, you know, is able to follow through. You know, thanks for reminding me. Yeah, oh, I... I will tell I will tell you all about it later, Will. But yeah, have a good one. Thank you for the bits and and I appreciate you. And honestly, thank you everyone who showed up at all cuz I I know I've been canceling a lot of streams lately. I've had so much to juggle and admittedly streaming is still you know, a hobby for me. I if I could make it viable, I would consider it, but it's it's just one of those things where it's like, I have to be a responsible adult and, you know, go to school and work and stuff. Increases defense while decreasing movement. wonder how much better the Wii U would have sold if Breath of the Wild came out as an exclusive for it. Not that much better, to be honest with you. I... I, I am fully convinced the whole reason... Breath of the Wild sold as well as it did is because it was on the Switch. People were already getting really hyped about the concept of the Switch, so, like, it launching with that Zelda game was the thing to catapult it. I think if it had just been a Wii U exclusive, I think there would have been people who loved it, but, yeah. Despite all the matter, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm glad I was able to at least a little bit today. Unfortunately, though, I think that's basically all I'm gonna do for today. So I, I apologize for the short stream, and I apologize uh, that I've been canceling so many streams lately. But, you know, at least I got to do something. Got to support a game I think is really cool. Um, I, uh, I really appreciate everyone who stopped by, for everyone who chatted and, you know, bits and subbed and all that. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, I try and stream every other day, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Sundays at 1 p.m. Pacific. Um, although my schedule is a little bit in flux because I've been working so much lately that uh, I just don't have a whole lot of time to, to you know, do stuff like this. But if you want to keep up to date with my streams and stuff, go ahead and check out my Discord. You can do exclamation mark Discord, or there's a link in my About section. It's the best place to keep up with my streams, as well as chat. Did I, I said ending, please. <laughs> um, as well as chat with me and other cool people. Let me type Discord. Yeah, yeah, thank you for coming by. I really appreciate it. Again, I'm sorry that things have been hectic, but um, hopefully things will you know, calm down soon enough. Um, you know, I'm going to see if anyone's live to raid. Who, who can we, who can we raid? Surely someone is, uh, live right now that, that could use the, uh, the raid. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, I think... Ooh. I do see Speedy playing Gunfire Reborn. 
you know, unless anybody has suggestions, we'll do that. Um, okay, so... Gosh, Twitch has so confused me. Okay, so... Yeah, so, uh, we're gonna raid Speedy. Uh, my raid message, exclamation mark raid, is Shadow Raid Legends. There it is in the chat. If you want to copy and paste it and spam it in their chat when we get there. Otherwise, take care, everyone. Stay safe. Have a good one. I'll talk to you later, and uh, let's go raid. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Bye.